Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to Marvel's Midnight Suns. If you're not at all familiar, Midnight Suns is a strategy game by Firaxis Studios. They are the minds behind XCOM 2, which is one of my favorite games. And it's obviously set in the Marvel Universe, and the Midnight Suns group deal more with occult occurrences, Cthulhu-esque entities, and, you know, just kind of that spookier vibe from what I understand. So I'm really excited to see what this game has to offer. We are locked into the normal difficulty for our first playthrough, but as I understand it, as we go, we will gain access to higher difficulty types. The dif difficulty type is going to determine bonus experience that we can get for our heroes, as well as enemy modifiers, like bonuses to their health, offense, and stuff like that. So, let's go ahead on normal difficulty. We're going to keep the tutorials on. We're going to be learning this together to make sure we have a full grasp of all the mechanics and everything that's going on here. And also, the tutorial missions have a little bit of the story in it, so I don't want to miss that either. Nothing else from me. Let's go ahead and get right into things. Just what the hell is so important? Sleeping mother, sacred harbinger, awaken and reclaim what is yours. You who rise with the moon in darkness. Who prepares the path for the Midnight Sun? Turn your merciless eyes upon us and arise! Nice show, Doc. Next time, call Zemo. Better yet, I'll just shoot you and save us all the trouble. Six months later. I can feel it, Rox. Trouble in the air. More innocent blood joining you soon. <laughs> Head back to your magic castle. You ain't welcome here. a sanctum, and welcome or not, this is where fate has determined the Sorcerer Supreme needs to be. Tell fate answers no. This is the secret guardian you dragged me 5,000 miles to meet? Who's the mouth? Mr. Stark is brash, but I assure you, he can be trusted. Wait, you seriously don't know who I am? The fabric of magic is shifting, Johnny. The prophecy of the Midnight Sun is upon us. Your last crusade cost me plenty. This time I intend to look after my own. 
Hey, pal, I don't think you understand. Things are changing. Two plus two no longer equals four. Up is sometimes down, and strange here is actually starting to make sense. Do I look like someone who gives a damn about any of that? No, you look like you should be bouncing for the double deuce. Listen, all I know is hell's coming, and my pal here says you can help. That's where you're wrong. Hell's not coming. It's already here. You're welcome, Robo-Man. Um, Iron Man? It's okay. It's fine. I know what he meant. We come all the way out here, and the old man runs off with that precious page of yours. Uh, at least left us some VIP all right, carnival, playing we'll cards. There are three the main types of cards, which represent hero abilities, attacks, skills, and heroics. Playing a card cost one card play, select an ability card with the left mouse button to activate it, then select the target with the left mouse button to confirm the ability. Uh, each turn you have three card plays. Okay. Attack cards. Use attack cards to damage enemies and gain heroism. Attack cards damage enemies. All attacks grant one heroism when used. Some attacks have added effects like knockbacks or stuns. Okay, these are all probably going to be very, very basic. I do want to check some of the settings here. I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit, and you guys let me know if it needs to be adjusted at all. But it, it does seem a little bit quiet. Let's crank it up a little bit. Alright, so let's just try a blast attack on one of our minions here. It looks like one hit is going to just kill these instantly. They don't have health bars, so... Let's give him a blast. This should be good. Yeah, and you're ugly too. So we have three card plays. Let's just take this other one out over here. That's going to move us. So you can see the green Iron Man icon in the circle on the ground. That's where we're going to move as a result of taking this action. Probably important to keep that in mind. Heroism and heroic cards. Heroic cards are powerful and decisive. Playing heroic cards requires heroism. Tip, gain heroism by playing attack and skill cards. So we can see in the bottom right we have two heroism, which is the cost of this card. It's going to deal five damage, which is not, uh, probably not necessary, except this is probably going to hit multiple enemies. So let's take a look. Yeah, see, it's going to hit both of these guys, which is going to take out both of them. Let's do it. Very cool. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Ending the turn. Once you have played your cards, use X to finish your turn. We could probably also take a move, but I'm sure they'll introduce us to that. Reinforcements incoming. Let's proceed then. Minions and elites. There are two types of enemies, minions and elites. Minions have no health. Any damage defeats them instantly. They are frail but still dangerous. Elites have higher health totals and require more damage to defeat. Use attacks and heroic cards wisely. High damage cards may be wasted on minions. That suit may be a marvel of technology, but it's no match for the mystic arts. So we have Winds of Watum here actually has a knockback. Oh, so it's a contest now. Then you take the extra creepy one. Gladly. Let's see, maybe we can uh, knock one into another. If we use this, okay, it's going to explain some about knockback. Some cards have the knockback effect. After selecting a target, aim in the knockback direction to view potential impact points. Confirm the direction with left mouse to push the enemy units. Try knocking enemies into objects, heroes, or other enemies for extra damage. Okay, so we click once to target, and then, yeah, we can shift him around. We could hit him from here and do damage to both of these elites. 
might not be a bad idea. Then we could kill one of them with Blast. Let's do that. Very cool. That also shuffles them around a little bit. And then if we blast one of the other ones... That'll just leave two minions and one elite to deal with. And since we built up two heroism, we could play Axe of Angerumus. 15 damage. So maybe what we should have done was hit this guy into one of the minions and then we could have used the 15 damage back here. But we'll go ahead and finish off the elite. And we have nothing else we can do, so let's go ahead and end the turn. So another wave of reinforcements has come in. Let's begin. Target previews. At the start of each turn, her hero icons will appear above each enemy, showing who that enemy intends to attack. Use this info to determine which enemy to defeat first or which heroes to defend. In this case, Doctor Strange is in danger. Now that I have their attention, okay, so there's the little icon. They're all targeting Strange. Protective? Well, I can give you a hand, or a shield in this case. In the spirit of cooperation, I'll accept your offer. Just this once. If we go here, we could take out both of these guys with one attack. That's probably a good idea, just to do right off the bat. We could give 20 block to an ally, but we need to build up... Um, well, that's going to give us heroism. Okay, so the plus 2 to heroism. Use skill cards to control the battle and gain heroism. Skills provide powerful supplemental effects like healing, damage boost, and drawing cards. Skills do not generally deal damage. Skills are a great way to build heroism for powerful attacks. They provide more heroism than attack cards. Okay, so let's do this. Don't worry, I've got you. Greatly appreciate. And for this, we probably just go here. I'm skeptical of your chances, but stranger things have happened. <laughs> you won't break my resolve that easily. So they didn't even eat through the block that we put on him. But that's okay, because there's more enemies. Do you really believe that will be enough? How do we want to handle this? Interesting. The spell to change the very demeanor of our enemy. Can't do anything there. of the psionic manipulations of Eros of Titan. If you can't make it happen in the next ten seconds, I'm not interested. Could we? Could we move? Maybe come over here. It's not letting us move right now. Damage every enemy. That seems like a really great idea. Why don't we uh why don't we go ahead and damage every enemy? I'm saving my energy so we need it. That was really something. Alright, so now can we get any kind of like directional see it's all in the wrong direction because it's about where he's going to approach, and I don't think I can change that necessarily what about here we could take them both out like this that might actually be our smartest move with him and then let's take out the one targeting Iron Man because Strange still has a little bit of shield left 
so we'll go here. Environment attacks. Many objects on the battlefield can be used to your advantage with environment attacks. Environment attacks cost heroism but do not use a card play. These free attacks are very useful. Use them wisely to score important knockouts. Try using one of my rocks to wipe out extra enemies. Environment objects will glow when they can be used to attack a nearby enemy. And while you ponder arrows, maybe we should just try throwing a big rock at him? Nice. Okay. So if we come here and we do this, we're going to stand right on that spot. That'll work. Let's go ahead and do that. Hey, that did work. We probably could have did something similar here. With an environment object. We still had a lot of heroism, but that's okay. So, who wants to go first? Uh, let's oh, do wins. I think that's the last of them. Let's Which go here. Oh, I look at that. We can't quite... The to can't quite get that one. Uh, we could just do air superiority. I don't see why not at this point. There we go. If I'm being honest, that encounter went better than I expected. Tony, I've been noticing a recurring gamma spike. You see, this is why you shouldn't eat spicy food, Bruce. Localized in the West Village, converging on the Sanctum. What? The collective works of the universe's greatest sorcerers, and he left them underneath the takeout menus. Ah, Shifting mystical polarities are wreaking havoc on my portals. You don't say. You okay, kid? Yes. Are you? Let's, uh, put a pin in that. Oh. trying to reach you. He'd have come himself, but he's... Well, you did the big green guy proud. I really showed up my homeowner's insurance. Miss Maxim, the wards of protection, if you please. Stephen, I can fight. I've got control now. Then show me by activating the wards. In the meantime, in honor of our missing companion, the rest of you may feel free to smash away. All right, we're going to get to use Captain Marvel here. That's really awesome. She has photon beam. Each damage each enemy in a line. You know I don't mess around. Besides, we picked up some crazy gamma readings coming from, well, here. Guessing that explains the high dragoons and ominous green lights. Yes, but not while you fail to use the front door. Um, hi, how about we discuss proper I love how detailed the backgrounds are. The they back. are actually really, really beautiful. Alright, let's see. We got three minions and a couple of elites. Switching targets. Use tab to quickly switch between targets. Okay. Sure. Uh, or I could just click who I want. We could do that. I really wish we could uh, we could relocate ourselves. They just haven't showed us how yet, so we don't have the ability to. Maybe we could... Well, we don't have heroism yet. Let's do a blast. Over here. Here we go. Redraw. Use redraw to replace undesirable cards in your hand. Highlight a card to redraw, then hold R to replace it with a new one. 
The new card is random, but it may be more immediately useful. The last card in your hand costs three heroism to use, but you only have two. Try, try using a redraw. Okay, so we'll redraw that one. And we'll get an attack, which is going to be a lot more useful. Um, with that, we could go ahead and finish off this guy here. It's going to deal the five damage that we need. Here we go. A little bit more impressive than just a jab, but I guess that's a Captain Marvel jab. Uh, let's see, we can use some heroism here by picking this up and chucking it at this guy. Nice, very nice. Okay, anything else we can throw, hurl? Doesn't look like it. I don't see any other movable objects. Maybe we go ahead and end our turn here. See what this last elite is going to do. He's just going to come in and hit us. I think she said it perfectly. It's still not going to be enough. Moving heroes use move to reposition a hero and set up the perfect knockback angle area of effect or environmental attack. Select any location on the ground with the left mouse to enter move mode. Select again at the desired location to confirm the move. Each turn you have one free move. The currently selected hero will execute the move. Try moving a hero into position to kick the couch at enemy units. Okay. Tab to switch between heroes. Who do we want to have kick the thing? Let's have Captain Marvel do it. And it gives us that little green bar that it can show like, are we going to be able to kick this object how we want it? Wish I kind of had a better angle at them. I feel like we could potentially get all of them. Um, I don't think I did that right at all. In fact, we didn't do it right. Okay, so first we move. That's that's not how we want to be facing. Okay, so we've moved. And then we need to kick the object. Okay, it, it repositioned us again. We must need to be right against it. Hmm. It's a little bit finicky. Yeah, see, we're stuck in move mode. But we don't want to be in move mode anymore. We want to, uh, here we go, now we got it. Yeah, so we're only gonna get two of them here. I feel like... Let's do it. Oh, we whiffed that one. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll try to do that better next time. Let's do this. Obviously could have went a lot better, but uh, that aiming was a little bit finicky. Maybe it's better with a controller. I'm playing with a mouse and keyboard. You've been deceived by Lilith. Uh, and this is uh this doesn't really leave us in a great position actually. Draw the last two cards and then Yeah, let's let's not do that. Ready up. Well, let's just try to finish some of these guys off to negate the incoming damage that we're about to get hit with. There was definitely a way to take out all three of them with the couch, and I just missed it. Oh, I thought we were finished. The odds 
odds are still in my favor. All right, so now we're kind of on our own here. They are surprisingly We could probably reposition and use a photon beam. She needs to activate the wards of protection. Like maybe if we position over here. I don't think that'll do it. Maybe like right here. And now if we photon beam. Yeah, we can hit all of these guys. Very nice. Okay, that's good. What else can we do? Can we do a Winds of a Tomb on this guy into the furniture for additional damage? Yes, we can. Maybe that didn't do additional damage to him, though. I think it only did the, the five. Double our current heroism, that really won't get us anything. We could get four cards next turn, but this I think this is the last wave. Let's do a jab here. One more time. Seems like it'd be cheaper just to replace you guys with robots. I bet Tony would cut Faustus a deal. Probably still won't be enough, but you can try. We're three of the world's strongest heroes, right? Doesn't it seem like this should be easier? <laughs> I've come through space dark cruisers that went down faster. Something's up. <laughs> yes, Hydra has clearly raised their game. And I have a terrible suspicion as to how. <laughs> At least Hydra Green is iconic. If you're a low red mercenary, I mean. The wards. Something's blocking them. Not something. Someone. Gozer? Lilith. Mother of demons. <laughs> I love the, the Ghostbusters reference. Prophecy or not, you overstep. Challenging the Sorcerer Supreme. Be silent. Psycho Be still. What just happened? Ow. Be gone. No! Fellow daughter of Transia. You remind me of my own beloved. In virtu de Vishanti! Well done, Miss Maximoff. Your unique energy surprised her. Whoa! I'm fine. What? I'm fine. The prophecy is in motion. Lilith is still out there growing stronger each second the midnight sun approaches. Define stronger. If we are to have any chance of stopping her, there is only one option left to us. I won't go back there. We all must eventually face our demons, Miss Maximoff. However, one of us should remain behind to maintain the wards of protection. See you on the other side. Magic is unwinding. We are fortunate to be here at all. And where is here exactly? Salem, Massachusetts. 
Well, a pocket dimension in Salem, Massachusetts. Oh, suburbs. Nice. Welcome to the Abbey. Home of the Midnight Sun. The hell is this? Lilith's Junior Demon League? Wait, it's that jerk from TV. Which one? Now, if everyone would just take a moment... Enough! You're standing on my flowers. Oh, it's been a long time, Sarah. It's caretaker now. If I could have avoided this moment, I would, but... Oh, spare me the speech. I know Lilith's back. We are sisters after all. <laughs> Guess we're suddenly invisible now. Shall we chat, Stephen? No one can argue that the Hunter earned their rest in the first battle against Lilith. I only hope they are up for the task once more. You wizards always make everything sound so lofty. I raised my sister's only child as a weapon against her. And saved the world in the process. Now you want me to dig them up and ask them to do it again. I did not write the prophecy, Sarah. Besides, I am no common grave robber. We are simply reuniting their ethereal essence with their corporal form. Speaking of, it would help to have a mental image for the procedure. Spare no detail. Spiritual identity theft is no laughing matter. All right, so character creation. I will have some things down in the playhead below and in the details section to kind of skip around. If you don't want to see character creation, feel free to skip ahead to the Abbey stuff or to the next mission. We are going to go with the female main character for this playthrough. And I feel like a lot of times the female perspective in stories is more unique. I mean, especially to me, being a man and already having that experience, I do sometimes like to play female characters in games like this or in Mass Effect and just kind of see the story from that perspective. Also, it kind of seems like the story might be built for that. At least like in all the promo shots and advertising, you see the hunter as a woman. So we're going to go with that. We'll do randomize a couple times here. And see if we just happen across anything that we really particularly like that we can build off of. That's cool. That's an interesting look. Also interesting. Alright. Uh, let's see. We can play with a couple of different things here. Okay, we can go in here and we can have this breakdown so we don't have to just use the sliders. We can see the names for the different cuts. And I think as you play, you unlock different styles and different looks for your hunter. So the things that you start with that customization, those are not necessarily going to be the things that you end up with.
world of light and darkness. You who tamed the night. Hear the voice of those who beseech the end. The caller! Wait! spells are concerned, I've seen worse, particularly on myself. Tony, come on. It's perfectly safe. That thing wakes up and takes a bite out of you. Don't blame me. Visiting hours are over. You can't stay here forever. There's nowhere else I should be. Just saw that Stark guy poking around behind the mirror table. Find me as soon as they awaken. And Blade, be nice. Always am. Part One The Awakening. with every breath. Has it been so long? Love the medieval armor that we have on. Looks like a combination of leather and chain mail place. or scale mail. In my dreams it was always empty. But now I sense I am not alone. Have to admit, Hunter, you make one hell of an entrance. Guess that makes two of us. You should have struck when you had the chance, vampire. You will not live to regret your error. Cute, and caretaker told me to be nice. Relax, Slayer. I'm a friend. You just don't know it yet. Yes. I saw you with Sarah before. But what would she want with a vampire? Unless... The name's Blade, and I'm no ordinary vampire. I get you've been out of commission, but I thought you noticed since we're having this little showdown under the freaking sun. A damn peer? Daywalkers were a myth even to me. Says the half-human, half-demon monster hunter. Ooh, choices here. So yeah, part of the game is going to be building our relationships with all of our buddies here at the Abbey. And kind of it kind of reminds me of Fire Emblem Three Houses a little bit. Uh, in that regard. So let's see. You seem to know a lot about us. You appear quite versed in my history, Dampier. Heard my fair share of stories from Caretaker. The legendary hunter. Child of Lilith. Last champion of the blood. Some call you angel, some demon. Probably a little of both. Led the Knights of Wondagore against the armies of darkness until you fell at... Fell? Shoot. This is why they don't normally have me do the meet and greets. I can see why. Right. As much as I'd love to see how much weirder this conversation can go, we should probably get moving. Agreed. The prophecy is in motion. I can feel it. We have wasted too much time here already. Man, the others are really gonna love you. Others? 
Yeah, you got a little fan club, I think. But why spoil the surprise? Hope you're up for the challenge, chosen one. Will we get to walk around? Yes, we will get to walk around. Look at that. So we don't seem to have a run or walk. We can we can jog or we can sprint at a full sprint. But we don't seem to have anything any slower than that. It wants me to go that way, but I don't know how much exploration is going to come into play here. I am going to have a little look around. And look at this. Arcane key is available zero. So here's a chest, but we do need an arcane key to open it. So there's going to be secrets and stuff to find around this place, huh? So this is the Abbey, but we have lots of things here to eventually unlock. We're really excited to see that part of the game and uh, how big it is, how much of a central role it takes. Let's go ahead and move down the hill at like a just a normal rate. I wonder if there's anything I could do in the in the options. That run is just like really fast. Hmm. Controls. Yeah, not really a lot we can do. Hold up. Did I miss something? Or did Nico just raise the dead? I definitely helped. Hunter. Not sure if you remember me, but we met briefly before. I'm the witch who called me back from the grave. Told you. Or Nico, but either works. And this is... Robbie Ray is. <laughs> oh man, never thought I'd be standing next to you. Got quite a rep. I mean, caretakers told us stories. That's Ileana. Privet. And I think you already met Blade. Of course. Caretaker has reformed the Midnight Suns. Well, how did you... Your power. I can feel it. I always do. So, welcome home. I guess we... I never left. Right. Well, we can fast forward through the tour then. The Abbey is still, well, you know, the Abbey. Basic stuff. Dorms, war room, library, a few places to chill, and, uh, whatever the hell the forge is. I have to say, for a haunted transient castle raised on the cursed grounds of Old Salem, it's pretty cozy. Of course, that doesn't stop us from adding some improvements. We can all thank Robbie for the Wi-Fi. Oh, and one more thing. We've got some new house guests now. You think we're a fun bunch, just wait until you meet them. Speaking of, we're here. Yeah, okay, spend 10 minutes in this place alone, Bruce, then see. Oh, <clears throat> gotta go. Show's about to begin. All right, so we unlocked the mirror table. A real 90s album cover vibe. 1690s, maybe. Hard to believe she's the hunter's mother. Resemblance dwindles when one is twisted by Cathan's power. Whose power? Cathan, the Elder God. Is Cathan the Elder God of metal bands? <laughs> oh, no. Tony, read your briefings. Relax, I'm just spinning him up. You think now's really the time for that? I nearly broke my hand on Lilith's face. She didn't even flinch. The more dangerous the foe, the funnier I get. That's debatable. <laughs> there isn't time for a refresher, much less that sort of training regime. You'll have to trust that the hunter's past experience is enough. Taking a big risk with your chosen one. You act as if I'm thrilled with the situation. If you're concerned, then be all the more vigilant out there. Easy for you to say. 
Nothing about any of this is easy, Blade. Yeah, tell that to Wanda. Hmm. I feel like listening to their little so chats is pretty important. Crazy day, huh? Crazy indeed. Lots of new blood around here. Some seriously powerful headliners. Powerful, yes. But how powerful, we will see. Big personalities, too. I think you mean big egos. But none of that matters unless they can help us get to one. It's gotta be a toggle walk key. There has to be. Maybe you should go introduce yourself to the youngins. I'm sure they know of the Sorcerer Supreme, and I wasn't following you. So let's check your menus. Tactical, strategy. Yeah, what about just movement? Sprint is left shift, but I, I don't want to sprint. I want to unsprint. <laughs> is there a way to to unsprint? Be jealous of you. I'm calling it now. You two are gonna be. At least they don't have me stationed in some musty old dungeon like Strange and Stark. I, I wonder if you ever ran into any of my predecessors back in the day. We um uh, tend to stand out. A little bit. I mean, technically, you were here first, but don't expect any special treatment. Caretaker will have you mopping the floors and hauling trash whether you're two or two hundred. No signs of muscle atrophy. You seem pretty healthy for a reanimated corpse. Hm. You sure you're not a time-traveling robot? Pretty sure. Can't, I must admit, can't rule it out. Having studied the tomes and read of your exploits in the past, it had never occurred to me that we might someday face Lilith together. So they all have little hearts next to their names at the bottom left. Across the Sanctum Sanctorum. I am so glad I decided to wash my hero pants last night. Little hearts with a zero in them right now. It's almost impossible to imagine the horror, the atrocities committed on these grounds all those years ago. Then again, we are less than 20 miles from Fenway Park. Hmm. I imagine Caretaker will have a hard time putting you at risk so soon after your awakening. But I doubt Lilith will leave her much of a choice. Well, just remember, if it came down to it, your blood would make a mighty fine vintage. Oh, jeez. Thanks, buddy. I think your old room should be just as comfortable as it used to be. But if not, let me know, and I'll see what I can do for you. Okay, what about the mission board? Prophecies be damned. It's good to see that face again. You look like it was yesterday. And you look older. Ouch. So I guess even though she's immortal, she still ages. How long was I in that crypt, Sarah? No more than a few centuries. You were missed. Centuries? And what of Lilith? Fallen by your hand. Until now. <clears throat> yeah, so speaking of Lilith. Tony? What? The kid's literally speaking of Lilith. Tony? That's my name. Tony, that's uh, Carol and Dr. Spooky over there. Here to help. Help with what, exactly? Oh, I don't know. Throwing the magic amulet into the volcano? <sighs> Smiting the dragon mother? <laughs> you tell us, kid. You are the... Chosen one, after all. Do you recall anything of that last encounter, child? There was... a voice. The rest is... hazy. Oh, a voice. That's it? A voice? That's what we have to go on? Results of your long crypt sleep, most likely. A minor inconvenience. Everything required to restore those memories is contained within my sanctum. I will simply alert Wanda to prepare the necessary rituals. What? Straight to voicemail? Some Sorcerer Supreme. It must be mystical interference caused by this little pocket dimension of yours. Perhaps Agatha can help. 
Allow me. Alato. Whoa, what kind of network you run in there? The all-seeing eye of Ereshkigal who judges. Bound to enchanted Babylonian soul glass. Obviously. We just call it the mirror table. Wanda! The dark force pushing against the wards. Stephen, where are you? That's impossible. Nothing on Earth could possibly affect those wards. Wanda's in trouble. Wanda is trouble. Alco. You'll need my help, of course. Then let us make haste, Dr. Spooky. Our hunt begins now. All right, here we go. Here is our map. So the only thing we can do right now is head to the Sanctum Symbiotum. That's the name of our mission. With everything going on right now, we simply cannot afford to lose contact with the Sanctum or Wanda. The Sanctum Santorum contains many powerful artifacts which must must be protected. Doctor Strange needs to return to the Sanctum, find Scarlet Witch, and stabilize the wards. Okay. There's our party. We don't have a choice right now. Now the difficulty is not just what we selected at the beginning of the game. This difficulty that we see here has to do with the strength of the enemies comparative to our party's level. So it could change depending on uh, what mission we're in. Got some stats there on the bottom right for each of our heroes. Crit, crit damage, fortitude, power, resilience, strength, and willpower. Uh, at the very top, of course, health and offense. So, a little bit deep with the stats there. I wonder if it's going to be gear or leveling up that modifies those. If we go into... It says we can do R to edit hero. Oh, this is where we would edit the deck. Okay. Can't get into any of the customizations yet. Same thing here. Alright, let's go ahead and just continue for now. So probably be a bit of a longer episode than usual. We'll try to keep it to like one mission per. Unless Bruce is right about gamma interference. But this one will probably be a little bit longer. Exist. The wards have been activated. Are you ready? The prophecy of the Midnight Sun does not linger, and neither should we. Lilith possesses the dark hold. If she forced her way into my Sanctum Sanctorum once, I suspect she can do it again. You are a sorcerer supreme. Can you not predict her movements? Normally, yes. But since your mother breached the Sanctum, my sense of the future has grown voluminous in nature. Is that another language, or...? <laughs> oh, fuzzy. My predictions are fuzzy. For the first time, a Sorcerer Supreme, I cannot foresee how the future unfolds. And with my apprentice in danger, we cannot tarry. See, don't worry, Doctor. We will, uh, we'll save your home. Your sanctum will survive. We shall see to that. Indeed. The oh, we got a plus one. The has weathered its fair share of trouble over the years. Blaze storms, a few short-tempered celestials. That issue with the zoning commission. But this time, it feels different. I do not doubt Wanda's capability, but without my predictive acumen, I cannot bolster the wards should she need it. Still, the wards are woven into the Sanctum's very essence. They should hold. In any case, all will be revealed with time. I suggest we make use of it while it still functions. Wanda can maintain the wards, I'm certain of that. But perhaps we shouldn't linger? About time. Not just about time, Mr. Brooks. Time, space, reality, the building blocks of magic. All must be constant for my portals to work properly. 
Yet as we now know, that is no longer the case. We've heard. Several times. Otherwise, I would still be hunting dread maidens in my sleep. Indeed. And while I certainly appreciate the view of this vista, I fail to see how it will hasten our return to the Sanctum. Magic is the answer. No, as I've just stated, magic is the problem. Your magic is... not ours. The ground you are standing on exists within two worlds. A mystical anchor point to Ileana's realm that allows her to... Well, I'll just let her show you. certain of that because I am sensing all kinds of dark energy that feeling you're being watched general hellho vibe yes all these potentialities converging at once A truly surprising feat miss Rasputin for someone so young of course you think this is crazy Wait until you see Manhattan. From here, magic can open gateways to just about anywhere on our planet, and beyond. We don't want to risk punching through the wards protecting your sanctum, Doctor. So we've chosen a safe exit a few blocks over instead. At least we know the wards of protection are still in place. For now. I suggest we hurry. Arm Alpha in position! Alright, we've got a Hydra officer dedicated, not your average Hydra goon. Defeat all the enemies to complete the encounter. I hesitate to call this good news, but I'm seeing minimal Hydra resistance between you and the Sanctum. Looks can be deceiving, I'm afraid. There's no way these foot soldiers are behind the disruption of the wards of protection. So the quick attacks like this one here, if you'll notice, it says on KO, refund a card play. So if we use these to take out a minion, which is what we should do, that doesn't use up a card play. So I think opening with those is probably a good idea. Clear out some of the minions. Yeah, see, quick. Attacks with the keyword quick will refund the card play when used to KO an enemy. So we're gonna go for the minions that just take one hit to knock out with these. Very cool. 
Uh, one thing we could do is we can change how often the game says that KO. You'll notice that when we KO an enemy, it, uh, well, it says KO for some reason every single time. Uh, we can go ahead, I think, and somewhere in here we can change that. Maybe it was under... Here we go. KO voice frequency. Let's just knock it down to like 30%. We don't need to hear him say KO every single time. Uh, let's do another quick slash here. Weak. Doesn't Even leave us height. in the best of positions. What do we want to do now? Draw one card, the next two damage cards apply to bleed. Could do that. The axe will deal 15 damage, which could take care of one of these... Uh, one of these guys here. No, that's 20, and he's got 40. Let's go with the axe. On this guy. They're all going to be attacking the hunter, so... He has weakened now. Uh, we're out. We don't have any heroes, so otherwise we could pick up this stack here. Give the hero cards in your hand plus 5 damage until played or discarded. That would have probably been a good way to start. Let's do this one. Exactly what I needed. Not enough heroism here though. Let's do this. Your loyalty to the mother of demons will be your undoing. And then if we come here, we can finish him off with this stack of papers. And that's about as good as we can do. We're gonna end our turn here. Forever in service. The victory. Okay, he hit Blade quite a bit, and he slowed him. How how is the slow going to that affect us? Detected in your area seems to be growing. Let's assume that's not a good thing. Gamma or not, I feel the hand of my mother at work here. So here we have a chain attack. Select multiple targets or the same target to attack multiple times. For reinforcements, it looks like we just got a couple of minions. I think we use this here. And we go in on him twice. Now that was something. Uh, that's not the direction we want him to go. Uh, let's not do that. Let's move him more like right here. Then let's do Winds of Watoom. One of the stronger arms. We did come all the way here for a fight. Watch and learn, my friends. I don't have magic healing. It's remarkable how well Hydra manages to attract new recruits despite decades of ineptitude. Alright, what do we want to do? We have some heroism. We have a couple of objects we could pick up and throw, potentially. Nothing. Nobody really within range of the throw, though. We could... Potentially kick this into somebody. Maybe if we move here, we can just kick it into him. Not have to use a card play to take him out. Oh, we don't have any moves. That's right. Oh, actually... Let me show you the way. Since he already moved, we can just do this. Okay, yeah, let's... Let's totally do that. 
Uh, and that is going to be all of our heroism. We could draw the last two cards played and we'll start the next turn with four card plays. That seems really powerful. A moment. A gift from ancient traditions. So the slow seems like... I'm not really sure how that affected us. Let's see. I'd like to knock him into this. I just don't know if that's going to be possible. Wait, we can't move anymore. Let's use the X. Leave some for the rest of us. He's bleeding, he's been weakened. And yeah, we, we are out of card moves and we don't have anything close enough to throw at him. So we will end our turn here. They're just picking on Blade, man. And that, he died from the bleed, too. Alright, very nice. Misguided as they are, remember, Hydra is still human, Hunter, not Lilin. You were saying? The lifeblood of the Mother pumps through our veins. The Mother is eternal. Hydra is eternal. Wanna bet? <laughs> oh, great. is not going to like this. No. I'll handle it. Or <laughs> not. We do not fear your magic, little wizard. We have answered the mother's call. We are venom to all. And you are large. Well, all right, we're going to be taking on a corrupted venom. Tip Fallen Venom symbiotes' binds can be broken by attacking them with hero abilities. Powerful enemies like Fallen Venom do not forecast which hero they intend to attack and may attack multiple times in their turn. Watch out. Well, that certainly escalated quickly. Okay. Do I even want to know what that beast is? It calls itself Venom. It calls itself Venom, yeah. It's now a pale imitation of a very heroic young friend of mine. We will feed your ugly tongue to the spider wizard. Marinate it in his stomach juices and eat it with his spleen. Get rid of the minions and put a little damage on Venom. Card play was refunded. We got a character level up, which is great. Plus five health, plus two offense. So I guess I didn't realize that they were just going to level up like RPG characters. Uh, or like XCOM characters, so that's actually really awesome. Uh, let's see. Strike will have a 2 chain. If we... I might not want to do anything like that. We could go here. Push that into him. That would use up some heroism. 
begin the search for wealth and power with just a tinge of fascism. Hmm. Hydra will never oh, we don't have enough heroism. Okay, let's leave him there. He's almost close enough to, to blow us up, but maybe I save that container for when there are more enemies around. Let's just do a basic attack here. Oh, we could knock him anyway into something. All right, why not? Let's knock him back there. Probably wasted that. You are too weak for this fight. Let's throw him into the electrical stuff. Maybe that'll stun him for a turn. He is stunned. I think that takes away a whole turn. Oh, we leveled up. I feel more like myself every day. When a unit is stunned, they will not act on their turn tip. If a stunned unit takes damage, they will be reawakened immediately. Okay, so if we want him to stay out of the fight for a turn, we don't we don't attack him. Let's start the next turn with four card plays. Follow my voice. This should aid me in my And fight. let's go ahead and end our turn for now. Let's see what kind of reinforcements they get. Oh, the stun got removed. Okay, well. Not much we could have done anyway that we didn't do. Looks like they call for help. Reinforcements incoming. We do, we do have a heal. As you belong to us, we should start with your juicy entrance. Hmm, great. Then slowly savor your delicious brains. Are the rest of your mother's children so chatty? Probably. Uh, enemy area attacks no. will go off at the end of the turn. Use move or an ability to move nearby heroes to safety. Oh, so he's gonna, like, erupt. We have to, like, knock him out of here, away from us, or we have to get out of here. Can we knock him out of here, away from us? Not really. Could knock him back into this guy. No, we can't. So, we can only move one of them out. We need to do some kind of positioning to get him moved out of here. I just don't know what in the world it's gonna be. Maybe if we get Strange out of there. Let's get Strange like way over here okay even the mother of demons is forced to rely upon hired hands occasionally I just want him away from us at this point it, as long as he doesn't hit us with the area attack I think we're fine yes now we're good Okay, what else do we want to do here? Kind of wish we could throw him into that, you know? Let's give it a go. In the search for wealth and power with just a tinge of fashion. Let's maybe do a heal on a uh, blade. The light is on our side. I feel like that's fine. I like that we're a healer. That's cool. Appreciate it. I think we save everything else that we have, right? Maybe we could slide this in. Could we, uh... Could we do that? Watch closely. 
it's worth it. I think it's totally worth it. Yeah, I think that's, uh... That's probably really all we can do. Oh, Strange did get hit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, 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 stunned. He messed us up. I thought Strange was just barely out of the reticle. Or the area effect, but no, he was in there. Alright. not be ready for this thing yet. Might be smarter to pull back until we know what we're up against here. Oh no. We are not. We are not pulling back. That is not happening. I shall fill your belly with my blade, demon. By the will of I fully intend to make this as miserable as possible for you. Fair warning. Oh, he used that to jump off of. He did not even use that to push. He literally jumped off of it. All right, let's open up with some quick attacks here. Watch me. That's gonna be card play refunded. Pain only makes us hungrier. Oh no, that didn't. This has life steal on it. Draw a card. The next two damage applies to bleed. Everybody's level went up. Melee attacks against Fallen Venom could trigger his Join Us passive and activate Symbiote Skin. When Symbiote Skin is active, Fallen Venom will, will bind the next hero that melee attacks him. Oh. Well, that's not good. Uh, we have lots of heroism, but we don't really have anything we could use it on. Another good Ghostbusters reference. Oh my gosh, they're gonna keep using that against us? Holy cow, they can use all three of them probably. We're gonna have to take advantage of those first because that is gonna get us killed. Oh no. Hero was bound and unable to act. Use the other two, ab use other hero abilities to damage the binding and free them. Okay. Mother blesses us with strength. We protect the mother and are rewarded with your meat. Saint Lilith was a vegetarian. So we're still stunned here, which it could be really bad for us. Uh, we probably need to put this damage into Venom. We got symbiote skin. Okay, we might we might get this off. This might be it for Venom here. Yes. 
Nice. It's not getting up. Objective complete. Not right away. No escape from me, demon. Hold up. We don't know what we're dealing with yet. <laughs> Ouch. Friendly. Seemed like you folks could use a hand, Doc. <laughs> Spider Man! Jeez, Eddie, what happened to you? That's sort of a horrifyingly terrible new look. The tongue was gross enough, but. Whoa! Someone is extra touchy today. We will rip your face off and suck the marrow from your bones! Always nice to see you too, buddy. So, I'm thinking your friends here could use a little break. How about I take Eddie here for his afternoon walk? <laughs> Don't worry, Doc. That's just his way of saying he cares! <laughs> I mean, I can't wait until we can actually have Spider-Man. That'll be cool. Uh, I think that whoever's the MVP gets their little comic book page here, which is pretty awesome. So, yeah, we got some gloss for that. Different stats here. We got a gamma coil. Don't know what those do yet. Overall with this, I'm having a lot of fun so far, guys. I really think that there's a lot to... There's a lot to consider in the combat, and it almost feels like you could think about it as deeply or as shallowly as you want. You could make quick decisions and just kind of see where you're left with and kind of work with what you have. Or you could obviously plan out like every move way ahead of time and try to predict what you're going to pull from your deck and stuff like that. Congratulations. New world or not, some things remain unchanged. The look. What look? Boldly charging headfirst into the jaws of your enemy. Courageously risking the lives of yourself and your teammates. Just to play the hero. This is the Fire Dragon all over again. Fire Dragoon. My memories may be fragmented, but as I recall... I killed the bastard. And all it cost was a village. Uh, of course. I see it now. The look. Cut him some slack. It wasn't that simple. It never is. Which is why I sent you to help. If Spider-Man hadn't come along today, we could have lost far more than... The, the Sanctum? Or Wanda? She means I could have died. Again. Putting an end to her eternal crusade against my mother. You've been through a lot. For now, it's enough that you all made it back in one piece. More or less. Maybe we're gonna need a new outfit. We'll talk more later. Get some rest. Fiasco. And it would have been far worse had Spider-Man not arrived when he did. No kidding. Caretaker would have been pissed if Venom had actually eaten a hunter. Yes, one disaster averted. Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time, even uh, given you were wearing, what, 70, 80 pounds of chainmail? <laughs> On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Don't worry, you'll get there. With a little help. 
Um, thanks, I think. Your support is appreciated. Oh, no problem. Already got a few ideas cooking. You're not allergic to mimetic poly... You know what? Never mind. Why spoil the surprise? Mm. I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here, other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. <laughs> there was a quill? What quill? But I do not have a quill. Even better. <laughs> Relax, Tony. I simply jest. It is an ink derived of the spider lily flower. Red spider lily flowers. Of course it was. Obviously. With just a touch of Manphibian blood. For power. Obviously. Haha! -ha, another zinger. And we'll just leave it at that. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. Hi. I'm Tony Stark, but if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the Spark, a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual, private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your oh, good. world saving compatriots. It's the Abby Facebook. You might ask, Tony, Aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? <laughs> if you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man rule. All right, Superlink is your connection to the rest of your team, a social network just for superheroes. Check Superlink frequently for updates from other heroes in the Abbey. Uh, let's see, this is from Ilyena. First we make Wanda leave, now we leave her to die. Some heroes. Six comments. I assure you that is not the case. She was sent for your for, to you for protection. I see how that worked out. We both know it's more complicated than that, Miss Rasputin. I took Wanda as my apprentice for a reason. Have faith that she can handle herself. Blade says, Strange did everything he could to get to Wanda. So did I, and the hunter. Take a breath, Elena. We'll get her back soon enough. Wanda should be here with us. Of that, I am in agreement. And Robbie here got the first post. What do you mean? We've had Superlink for months now. We use it every day. I mean, the first post that the hunter sees. You can't keep doing this when someone new joins Superlink. Yes, I can. He means he will throw your spark in the lagoon. He wouldn't do that, right, Blade? Right, Blade? I feel like he probably would. Inspect the journal page, closet, and painting. There never was enough room for my armor in this thing. Gloss earned for missions can be spent to unlock new cosmetic options for the hunter and heroes, including outfits to wear around the abbey. Select and purchase new abbey outfits for the hunter now. Okay, so we just have to pick the thing we're going to wear around the abbey. Definitely going with this one. Looks good. Inspect the journal page and the pa let's do the painting. Where's the painting? We were all so happy then. Agatha and Sarah with Hound. So Agatha has something to do with Wanda's story, from what I know, but I'm not sure much more about her except she might have also been a witch or a magic user. 
Obviously she's not here now. Maybe we'll find out more about that. Uh, and then the notebook. April 3rd, 1703, and Sarah wants me to practice my letters, and so here I am, but every time I dip this ink pen, I just want more and more to go out beyond the yard into my secret spots. I left my dolls scattered about before the storm, and I'm afraid they're hurt. Do dolls hold grudges? Agatha says they don't, but I still feel sad for them. My old journal. Maybe it is time I start writing in it again. Complete item collections to gain special rewards. Okay. And then what happens if we sleep? Oh, we progress the story, probably. Obviously. for the past 300 years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. <laughs> First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. All right, guys, we are going to save it here for today. We'll talk more later, but for now, Stark has requested your presence at the forge. I think he has another present. And next time we will visit the forge, I'm sure we're going to get our combat outfits next time. So very much looking forward to what they deck us out in. That isn't scale mail from 300 years ago, even though that was pretty cool too. Hope you guys are enjoying the game. Let me know what you think about it. And if you are enjoying the content, I'd appreciate it if you would consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. It would help me out immensely. I would be very, very grateful. Until next time, guys, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again sometime very soon. Bye for now.